this is the plan for the pontoon. The red rectangle is the outline of the coral plus sheet I have, which is 5 feet by 10 feet. I trim off the top piece 9 inches, the yellow one. And the blue one is the piece I used to make one pontoon. The ye this yellow one is the bottom of the pontoon. And then these are the side walls. And these are the top, which will fold it together. Once it's folded together, it will, looks like a, a long piece of a rectangular tubing. Uh, at the top, I didn't do any interlocking. I put a triangular stiffener right near the middle part of the pontoon. And then I put the lashings holding it together and it is very rigid. But I'm using 6mm coral plus. And if you use a thinner one, four millimeters, some other one, some other kind, and you may have to do something more structurally, uh, making it much stronger. The triangular stiffener is made from the piece I cut off from the coral plus sheet. I create a shape and I bend it into this uh, triangle. I place it near the center of the pontoon. To, so as to help to maintain the shape of the pontoon, also to prevent the top from collapsing when I apply weight, or mainly there's a frame on top and a person sitting on a chair and pushing downward. This is the cross-sectional wheel of the pontoon, uh, but actually after you fold it together, this has turned out to be more than 9 inches, could be 10, 11 and the bottom is slightly wider and the bottom looks like this and at the front is only three inches and at the back uh, seven inches uh, draft uh, again depends on where you position the person it shift forward a little bit everything will be more even now let's take a look at the design of the frame the way i design it is I try to even out the loading onto the surface of the coral plus. Actually, the loading mainly on the side wall of the coral plus. I have one, two, three, four, four pieces cross PVC piping. So assume that the body weight is two hundred pounds. So each each piece at this point will have to handle twenty five pounds. Since the loading mainly is on the side wall, so end up uh, each point. Average is 12.5 pounds, which isn't much. This particular chair also has a metal frame. I use the zip tie to tie it down onto the frame. I add another cross member here to act as a footrest. This, this is uh, holding onto it when someone trying to get into the boat. Uh, you can hold onto this one or you can actually hold onto the frame of the chair, which is very stable. I add a piece of wood because when I tr first climb onto the boat, I need somewhere to step on. Of course, you can al always step on, on onto the pontoon. Once you place this one down and you have to put a lashing all the way uh, from underneath the pontoon back here, same. And you, you actually can create a single, single frame about four feet long. In that case, I would suggest just putting three lashing on one side, so a total of six. So it will cost less to make and uh, faster to assemble the boat. Six minutes to do two pontoon, and then six minutes to do six lashings. It is pretty much uh, 12 minutes to assemble a boat, right? So it isn't that bad.
there should be enough pontoon on this side here. And from here to here, around 32 inches. 